What's up everyone, it's Roger here from thiskingdom.com. I'm going to be playing through the Captain EO toy box created by Pirate Steven. Relive the classic Epcot attraction that tells the story of Captain EO and his crew as they go on the important mission to deliver a gift to the Supreme Leader. This was a tribute which was created with Every Dad Free as part of the Walt Disney World project. So I'm going to be using um, Captain America for this one. Don't stand a chance against you so I can get him leveled up. Look at that. Welcome to Epcot. You're a and you're in the Imagination Pavilion. I love the fact that you've got the, um, the, um, the monorail in there. Okay, I must admit, Epcot is still one of my favorite places. It's, it's a beautiful area. The last show ever is about to start. We did go to see um, Captain Neo last time we were there, um, kind of because everyone was kind of going on about it. Um, it was all right. I mean, it's an, it's an old 80s movie. I'm kind of glad they did remove it because it wasn't really supposed to be around as long as it was. It was supposed to just be kind of temporary after um, Michael Jackson sort of passed away. But it was so popular they left it running. And they've kind of replaced it with three little um, animated shorts. Um, I think they could do a bit better than put, and put something in there a bit more um, amazing. I remember when I went there the very first time to Epcot. And maybe even the second time. They had um, Honey, I Shrunk the Kid. Honey, I Shrunk the Audience. Which is always one of my personal favorite attractions. Uh, always remember um, the mice running between my legs and stuff, so I always thought that was cool. But Captain Neo is pretty cool. Um, I think a lot of people have it's kind of grown in, in people's hearts as being something amazing. But like I said, um, maybe not for it's all right. I don't I don't dislike it. Definitely need to get him leveled up a bit. So we're gonna get a fast pass. We're gonna run in here. I'm gonna run through the queue. We're gonna skip over here. Oh look at there's Pirate Steven. Ah, you came for the last show. You must be the biggest fan then. Time for the show is so special that it requires a rainbow ticket to access. If you don't have one, don't worry, I'll craft one for you, but you need some gems first. Okay. Um again this looks a little bit like um Diz Explorers one where we had to find some stuff. I like this. I think this is good. Um I think this kind of adds that kind of game aspect to it, and I think that's important. Because recreating um, attractions and stuff is great, but it can get a little bit um, over the top if there's too many of them. So I'm kind of glad that we've got this kind of little bit of a little mini game inside of the toy box. So I definitely think that is a great, a great point of thing to do for this. And it's also just trying to level up Captain America, but with no villains to take on. It's not a huge. Who else have we got here? And, and there we go. Well done. So we can turn around and go back in. Run right through this. Okay, there we go. Talk. Okay, perfect. This will just take a couple of seconds. Here, you got your ticket. You can now proceed to the show. You're going to come with me, buddy? Here we go. Let's take you in. Let's give you a bit of a thing while we're in here. It is a 3D show. It was created with um, George Lucas. So we're going to have to go up here. Take little Pirate Steven with me. Watch the last Captain Neo show. So here we go. I'm guessing it's going to be a little bit like a show. Bits and pieces going on. Yo! Woo! Oh yeah, the 3D effect. Woo! Say what? Wow, that 3D effect was really cool. The cosmos. A universe of good and evil. Where a small group of smugglers, of a small group struggles to bring freedom to the countless worlds of despair. A ragtag behind, and led by the infamous Captain Eo. Okay, Michael Jackson. Boom! What is happening? Where's all the smoke coming from? Oh, here we go. We got the ghost coming into the ship. Come aboard with us. Okay. I'm liking the effects they've done with this. It kind of feels like you are kind of watching a little bit more 3D. It's not just all taking place on the screen. Oh, time to drop out. Okay, so here we are, back in, in we go. So now we're kind of watching it 
Oddly, the planet does not look dangerous. I love if I got chipping down. <laughs> Great. Is this... Okay, we'll see. I am wondering whether or not are we actually going to get the whole 20-minute presentation of this at this point? Huge... Oh, I like the fact they've at least used Dumbo. Okay. Yeah, don't you screw up, you guys. Relax. There's no problem. These guys must have really been focusing very, very high on what made up this movie. Okay. Right. Battle alert. They definitely went to some, some effort trying to recreate this lot. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Again, this is this is the thing, and I'm going to be honest. If you haven't seen the movie, it kind of doesn't really show what you're doing. But, I mean, I can, I've only seen it at once. I don't really remember the, the movie too much, to be honest, other than... Oh God, it's the evil Mighty Jidus. Oh, Mighty Jidus is Captain EO. <laughs> Good morning, Captain. I am wondering, are they actually going to do the whole show? We're going in. And the ship has absolutely no condition to go into battle. As you might imagine, there's a hope with it being Michael Jackson, there's plenty of songs, there's also some dance routines. Um, there's also been plenty of merchandise over the years as well coming into it. Captain Neil, but we're going to do it right this time, because we're the best. I know um, John Vinacci, the um, executive at Disney Infinity Vice President, um, he has been pushing very hard to get a Captain EO figure, but because of the rights with like the Michael Jackson family in the state, it's kind of a lot more difficult. It would be cool, but I'm not entirely sure if a Disney Infinity figure for an old attraction that doesn't been there will be on the shelves. I'm not sure it can be on the shelves for very long, but it would be cool to see a Michael Jackson figure in Disney Infinity, but I really doubt we ever will. Okay, here we go. We're still going on. The only good thing is, if this is not your kind of toy box, then at least you know this video might show it to you. But if you want to go and see the full video um, or the full toy box, I definitely recommend downloading it. But yeah, I'm going to end this one here because I think it's just going to continue to go through the story and stuff. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to comment below with your thoughts on this toy box, and I shall see you guys in a later video. Later.